Listening to the Wisdom of Your Gut, March 30th, 2020. This is Suzanne Skurlock recording from Reston, Virginia. Today's support is going to be focused on pointers for how to read the signals from your gut and then hopefully follow them when they ring true. Briefly, our gut instincts are one of the fastest systems we have in our body for tracking when we're in danger and need to move in a particular direction for safety. It also signals us in clear ways when something is really going in a good direction for thriving, pleasure, and health. Although there are general signs we all have that signal us, in fact, each of us has our own unique flavors or ways that we recognize these. And if you want to know more about it, I have a free report on my website you can dive into at Healing from the Core to learn more. It's particularly helpful if you know that you second guess those gut hits or that your gut is in such a knot all the time that it makes it difficult to read its wisdom signals. Also remember that the gut is primarily about what you need to do in this present moment. While your gut can be in knots from old trauma memories or constant worries that you grew up with in your family, these are not current issues, and they often have a taste and a feel that's familiar, charged, and repetitive. And when you find yourself thinking about something over and over that's negative, draining, sucks the life out of you, this is not your gut wisdom. But these limiting beliefs or expectations can cause your gut to clamp down or lock up which makes it hard to read true present moment gut signals. This means that it's worth taking the time to do the practices in your life that help you relax internally. Doing such things as thinking of what you're grateful for or taking the time to hold a loved one or a beloved animal or expressing empathy and love for someone or doing the basic grounding and filling exploration that I use all the time with people to bring them home to themselves at a soul level. And once you have that level of presence within, take a moment and notice what your gut is signaling you. It will often be subtle and quiet, but unmistakable, unless you're in clear and present danger, in which case it will speak more loudly. I'll tell you a funny story about me and my gut. In mid-February, I was at Costco before any of us knew what was coming, and I was passing the toilet paper section. I have an internal running banter inside my head that helps me know when to buy stuff. In this case, it sounded something like this. Do we need toilet paper? No, not really. I have enough. No house guests coming. No special need for more. And then my gut voice came in calmly but clearly and told me to buy toilet paper, the big package. I hesitated, asked why, and it simply repeated the directive, buy toilet paper. Now, I trust my gut, so I did. Same thing happened when I got to the cleaning supplies aisle and I was standing in front of the Clorox wipes. I bought two huge containers with no real understanding as to why I was doing that. Needless to say, these were both good purchases. Now, this is just one simple, almost silly example of how the gut knows stuff, and it knows it in any given moment, how to guide you to pay attention for what you need. I could spend the rest of the day giving you examples of these kinds of signals from myself and from others in my classes who have shared their stories of knowing stuff that had no logical basis at all, that turned out to be exactly right for them, or life-saving. So take some time today and do whatever works for you to relax and drop inside. Then listen as you go through your day. Listen for what feels wrong and perhaps needs a course correction and for what feels right on. We are living in interesting and challenging times. Our past experiences help us make decisions, but they only go so far. And we need our gut's wisdom right now. It was made for these circumstances and these times. And enjoy.